Hello everyone, it's Brandon here with Bootleg Boxes, bringing you a tutorial on how to uh, install and use HD Loader for the PlayStation 2. So, uh, just to open up, if you guys followed my previous video uh, on how to install a soft mod to your memory card using the free McBoot exploit, uh, you will already have HD Loader pre-installed. Uh, however, if you did not, um, then I will still supply you everything you need. First, you're going to want to go ahead and download the... Um, newbie package which was found in my PlayStation 2 soft modding uh, WinRAR package um, you can just extract that to your desktop and once you get that folder out here you're gonna double click that go into the install folder and you're gonna find the HD loader right here so once you get that you're gonna wanna plug in a uh, flash drive and we're gonna go ahead and drag this on over into that flash drive okay so once we have that all set up we're gonna go, go ahead and head over to the PlayStation 2 and uh, get this installed and figured out Alright, so once we're over here into Free McBoot, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and plug your flash drive in. You can use either uh, either USB port, it doesn't really matter. But once that's in, you're going to go down to ULaunch ELF. Once that's open, you're going to go into the file browser and go down to Mass, which is our flash drive. And right there, we're going to see hdloader.elf. So once you get that, you're going to click the X button, and then uh, R1, and we're going to hit copy. Go ahead and go back using the triangle key. We're going to head up to the memory card, which is MC0 if it's in the first slot, MC1 if it's in the second slot. Once that's loaded up, we're going to go down to boot, and you can just put it right in here. Now, I already have one in here, but just for uh, the sake of the video. So, once that's in there, we're going to go ahead and head back. Now, just so you know, um, we've uh, only installed the... Uh, We've only placed the ELF into the memory card. To get it to boot, we're going to have to do a few extra things. So you're going to go up to uh, Path, MISC, and then hit PS2 Browser. That's going to take you right back to the main screen. And once we're here, we're going to head down to Free McBoot Configurator. And now from here, we're going to go down to Configure OSD SYS Options. And from here, we're going to go down to Configure Item. You're going to scroll over until you find a blank one. In my case, it's going to be Item 3. We're going to click, uh, just click circle on that. And then from here, the name, I'm just going to call it HD Loader. You can call it whatever you want. Now for path one, we're going to put right into the memory card there under boot and then hdloader.elf now this would be if you had it in uh, multiple different locations um, like if you wanted to set it for a uh, memory card 2 or if you wanted to permanently boot from a flash drive you can do that as well but I'm not going to get into that so hit return go down to return again and this is parts very important you want to save CNF to MC0 or 1 or mass whatever you have uh, on there so click that this basically ensures that uh, it's able to do this every single time so after that's saved we're gonna hit uh, go back to PS2 browser
And once that's in here, you're going to see HD loader right here. And just to make sure it runs, we're going to go ahead and start that up. Now, as you can see, I already have a few games that are installed, but I'll go ahead and show you how to install those as well. So, uh, just proof of concept, I'm going to try the bouncer. And there you go. It's working, running it straight off of the hard drive. No problems. So, we're going to go ahead and head back over to the PC side. I'm going to show you how to upload video games to your PlayStation 2 hard drive. Alright, so once we're back over on the PC side, you're going to need uh, to find a way to hook up your your uh, PlayStation 2 hard drive to your computer. In my case, I'm using a USB adapter. Uh, USB to IDE adapter, actually. Uh, you can find those anywhere on uh, eBay, Amazon. Just do a quick Google search. You'll find yourself one. Um, but so long, once you find some sort of way to get your PlayStation 2 hard drive connected, you're going to need to get this program here, WinHIIP. Um, and you can download that in the uh, description on my SkyDrive as well. Um, if you're running anything Windows Vista and above, you're going to need to right-click and run as administrator. So we're going to go up here to select drive, and you're going to find your PlayStation 2 hard drive right here. Click on that, and it's going to load up all the games that you have installed on your hard drive currently. Now, if you want to add another one, we're going to go down here to add images. And uh, if you have the PlayStation 2 disk in your in your disk drive, you can use one of those. Or if you have an image file, which is how we'll be doing it today, you're going to hit that. Go to Add Images, and browse to where you have your image located. In my case, I'm using Grand Theft Auto 3. Once you have that on there, you can add multiples, of course. We're going to hit the Start button. And you are not don't need to mess with any of this stuff. Um, it's usually pretty forgiving. <clears throat> so once that's set, you hit OK, and it'll install it to the hard drive. Okay, so once that's done, I'll go ahead and go down here to click OK. Now this next part is most, mostly optional, but um, I always recommend it just because it makes sure that it works every time. Uh, go up here to Utilities, Scan and Repair PS2 Drive, and select your PS2 Drive. And it's going to read all the uh, partitions that are on the drive currently. Once that's done, as you can see, I have a few errors on mine, so it's a good thing I ran this. But there we have that. I'm going to hit repair. And there. Fix that up nice. And then hit save. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and go back up here, just double check, make sure everything's in there. Okay, so once that's all set, we're going to go ahead and exit, and go ahead and plug this into the PS2 and give it a try. Okay, so once you're back onto the PlayStation 2, we're going to go ahead and boot into Free Reboot. Head on down to HD Loader.
and you can see right here we have Grand Theft Auto 3. Go ahead, go ahead and play that, hit X. And there it is, running flawlessly. So, that is it on how to uh, install HD Loader onto the PlayStation 2 using the Freemoot Boot exploit. Um, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, as always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Always helpful. I love hearing what everybody has to say. Um, and it definitely helps me make better quality videos for everybody that's out there. So, uh, that's all I got. I will see y'all later.